Hey guys, JSQ here, and welcome to another little mod pack I've made for you guys. Like the last one I made was the Battlefield mod pack, and I've modified that one just a little bit, so it's kind of turned more into a Call of Duty type mod pack. Um, if you want to go see the Battlefield one, it will be linked in the description below. And um, the Battlefield one basically got like jets and helicopters, like fully functioning ones that shoot rockets and everything. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, this this video I'm gonna get straight into it. It's basically a Call of Duty style one, and I'm on this terminal map that's been remade in Minecraft, obviously. And uh, if you want to download this map yourself, then the link will be in the description too. So like every mod I show you, there'll be individual links if you just want to use one of them. But I'll also include the link to the mod pack, so you just put that into your um, mod folder on Minecraft, and you'll be good to go with all these mods. So yeah, the first one I want to show you is the Perudo's gun mod. Now what this has got, it's got loads of guns, I'll show you, it's all here. You got like M4A1s, you got Scar H's, you got AEKs, um you got Borgs, you got you got like loads of things. You got UMPs, and uh, you've got like stuff like grenades as well and you got a parachute somewhere as well I think. Or maybe that I think that was for another mod actually. That was the battlefield one. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was um, looking at the battlefield one there for some reason because that's so similar. But um, yeah, basically it's got the Frillo's gun mod. And what this is is if I just come out here, so I go shoot these slimes that's supposed to be here. If you right left click, then it'll bring up the scope depending if you've got a scope attached to it. And it's got like the kill feed in the top left as well if you see that. And uh, yeah, if we use the A uh, the AK, then it's kind of like got exactly the same reflex sight from COD as well. I think it's from Black Ops 1, this reflex site. But uh, yeah, we got all that. Uh, we've also got a bazooka, or a rocket launcher, which is actually from another mod, which I'll get to after. Um, actually, I'll get to that now. It's uh, the enemy the enemy soldiers mod. Now, I'll add this one in the battlefield one as well, because it's pretty awesome. Now, um, I'm going to go find these enemy soldiers. There should be around here. There's just got like random enemy soldiers just like standing around stuff so I could just I'm in creative so they won't shoot me back but if I just shoot them and uh, there you go he's dropped a bazooka they all drop different weapons depending what they're holding but um yeah we can also use these bazookas so if we shoot that there it's probably gonna blow a lot up but yeah as you see that like combined with a creeper explosion as well but yeah these bazookas are pretty powerful so um yeah I'm not <laughs> I'm just ruining this map now, so I'm going to stop firing those. Um, I'm going to drop that, but I want to show you one of the main things in a sec, which is my—it's kind of like my favourite mod of this. Um, actually, we may as well go back over here, sort this slimes out in a sec. But yeah, we've also got Zan's mini map, which is the map in the top right, which is pretty self-explanatory to you guys. It's just a map showing you the mob locations, and if you press M or is it X, you can see the um, oh, you can see the full map, and then press X again, and you come out of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've also got the animated player mod. As you can see, my players running around like you normally would. <laughs> it's like more realistic, so yeah. And if you go into creative mode, you can actually fly as well, but pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're going to move back over here so I can actually show you guys this last mod. Uh, actually, there's one other mod. There's mob dismemberment, which was also in the battlefield one. Basically, what it does, if you actually kill a mob, I'll go find one. Um, here we go. Spider. It actually... Oh, it doesn't work for spiders, does it? Yeah, but why are there no mobs that I need? There's like, I need a zombie, a creeper, or a skeleton. There's a creeper. Right, if you see it, you can actually see it, like, splats into different pieces. It just, like, falls apart. That's mob dismemberment. It makes it a bit more realistic for when, like, you're shooting mobs and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of cool. I thought it had a nice little touch to it. There's another creeper. Let me shoot you. I'm going to kill this guy as well. There we go. He dead. Um, gonna kill this skeleton as well. Yeah, I love how they just fly into pieces with that mod. It's awesome. Um, right, the last mod I want to show you is the throwing knives mod. Now, what you've got, you've got three different knives. I think you got three different knives. Let me just uh, have a quick gander at that. Uh, yeah, we got the tomahawk, ballistic knife, and throwing knives. And uh, the other parts are just like to actually craft them, which you can find out the recipes yourself. Um, but I'm just simply showing you these. So if you throw them, you can actually like it's like a one hit on them. Um, also the throwing knives. 
think the tomahawks are the most powerful, so as you see, it just like kills him in one with the tomahawk. It can also be used as a weapon as well, this tomahawk, so it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, also this ballistic knife, it's loaded at the moment, so if I just shoot that, shoot that, it didn't do much damage to it. You'll have to reload if you've got more ballistic knives in your inventory, but uh, yeah, as you see, I'm actually throwing these. I don't think you can pick them back up, which kind of sucks, but yeah. I just thought I'd add this in because it's actually a Call of Duty theme type of thing from like tomahawks from the cards and throwing knives and the ballistic knives. Um, right then, so that is pretty much all of the mods. So if you want to go download this yourself, then there is a link in the description to the mod pack and there's a link to all individual mods. So if you liked the look of one of the mods, then you can go download it yourself, They're just the single one. And um, yeah, you can go play it yourself. So yeah, there's also a link to the actual terminal Modern Warfare 2 map and slash Modern Warfare 3 map now. Um, so yeah, if you want to go play it, then links will be in the description for everything. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And also leave a like if you thought the video is awesome. So yeah guys, it's been JSQ and I'll see you in my next video.